very good day to everyone watching. We are honored to have Ms. Jyotsna Shetty from the Department of Electrical and Electronics with us here today. Ma'am is an alumna of NMAMIT from the batch of 1993. Ma'am is currently working at ACI Worldwide as a Director Business Analyst. I am Jane Lobo and on behalf of our department, feel privileged to interview our distinguished guest. We are so honored to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Firstly, I'd like to ask you, ma'am, how does it feel being back to your campus? Feels great. Feels really, really nice, nostalgic. Uh, we, as we were walking through the corridors, um, I think, you know, we were just, a lot of memories flashed back in terms of which classroom we used to sit, where we used to sit. So it was really nice. It was nice. Felt very good. How would you describe your experience as being a student at NMIT? Um, yeah, it is a long time ago, so um, I don't think we have the luxury that you all have right now. But at that time, whatever we had was really good and uh, yes, it was nice. Uh, would you say that there have been some changes in the campus? There are a lot of changes. There are lots of changes in the campus. New buildings have come up and um, yeah, I think the facilities itself has uh, drastically improved. Uh, a lot of process, a lot of systematic way of doing things, uh, which uh, obviously you could not expect uh, at that time when we were studying because we were the second batch. But uh, today, I think all of you are very, very lucky to have uh, uh, such a college and the facilities that are around. Yeah, definitely. Um, I would like to ask if any subject in particular interested you as a student and you would advise students to focus on it. Uh, <laughs> difficult question. <laughs> uh, I don't think I remember many of my subjects as of now, but uh, um, I, I think uh, the suggestion that I would give is any subject that interests you, um, you know, you take it forward. Um, that would help you. Today, um, with all the technology and the digital world, uh, things are at your fingertips. Uh, Y'all can see what is, um, you know, what is good at the market, what is it that you would like to pursue. How, how is it offered in the uh, ecosystem today? And uh, you can write, you can select your subject. Uh, now, there, I don't think I had any particular subject uh, that, um, you know, that I could count or I could uh, say, but um, I think whatever you do, you just need to make sure you know what you want to do further and information is available. Use that and then try and focus on it. Thank you, ma'am, for your perspective on that. Uh, I would like to ask, you've been working at ACI Worldwide for a long time now. Uh, in, relate, in regard to learning and growth perspective, how would you describe your experience at the company? Okay, um, so just a little background of my journey into this company. So from today, I think like each and every one of you, uh, even our aim was, you know, get to work somewhere. But then even at that time, out at 1993, um, you know, when we looked around, we felt uh, some knowledge of computers was necessary for us to you know, move on. Uh, although we did have Fortran 77 that was called at that time. That was the programming language that was there in electrical at that time. Um, so I joined uh, a firm that could, uh, you know, give a very high level information of what a computer is, what can it do, you know, some, some little hardware thing. So I did that for about six months and then I got a job at, um, it was then a different company. We got acquired by ACI, but uh, joined the ACI worldwide. And then it's been a long journey um, starting, I think um, I started in as somebody who would uh, assemble hardware, uh, a computer. I started off with that. Yes, I did my electrical and electronics that helped me uh, in this journey. Uh, however, I think as I grew in that company and I learned a uh, young girl wanting to learn a lot of things, put my heart and soul into what I did, enjoyed what I did, but learned in the whole process. And then from hardware, assembling uh, computers, I went into understanding the product and then I went into actually uh, leading the product management group at, at, the, at ACI for a couple of our products. That's been my journey. That's a really nice journey, ma'am. Uh, I would like to uh, ask also if there are some students who want to make a shift 
from electrical engineering to business analytics, what would be your advice to them? How can they go about it? Yeah, so I think um, there is no fixed pattern in how you do it. As I said, anything that you do, take it upon you to work hard, uh, try and get information as much as possible on those lines for you to focus and be able to be successful. Uh, in our times, um, not so much of internet facility was available, so we really didn't have a lot of information available. But then I think with our uh, peers helping us, uh, you know, giving us more information, we eager to grasp that information, we were able to see in life. But right now, there's a lot of information out there for anybody who really wants to take a different line uh, as their career forward. And uh, pick that and then make sure you put your 110% into that uh, and learn more about it because it's a different area which you have not learned, but there's nothing that's going to stop you from, you know, uh, going that route. It's not that everything stops uh, with what you have. If you want to learn, but you have to put your 110%, then I'm sure everybody is going to be successful. That's some really good advice, ma'am. Also, how can an electrical engineering fresher get into ACI and uh, what is expected out of them? Um, okay, so right now, I think uh, there are uh, certain parameters in how the selection criteria happens and uh, we look at mostly computer science and uh, IS uh, students uh, for our interview when we come to campus. However, I'm sure um, a little background of Java is what we look at at ACI and uh, any logical uh, you know, uh, things that you could resolve, uh, you put in some effort, learn new languages. Java is the main focus that ACI Worldwide has and uh, uh, if you are able to get through that and you know be able to answer those questions, I think nothing is going to stop uh, anybody, any other department to come in. Okay. I think we are open to that. Uh, what skills have helped you get a job at ACI Worldwide? Um, what skills? Okay, so I think um, main important was um, whatever I did, this is from my personal experience, okay, whatever I learned um, and I did, I put my heart and soul into it. Um, so I think hard work is, is important and working smartly is also very important. And I think in the corporate world today, uh, if you see, uh, communication plays a big part because there's uh, global exposure. Every, each and every company, you know, the expectation is you should be able to talk to people and your communication has to be extremely good uh, and you need to build on that. If the, you know, uh, you, it, it's not something that uh, is just with few people. You can build on it and you can learn and you can improve yourself. So I think those are three main things. Um, if you have and if you acquire that uh, knowledge, um, that has helped me grow in this company uh, to where I am today. Okay. Uh, we would also like to know your current area of interest. Um, so today at uh, ACI, I work um, as a product management person, um, working with our customers, understanding what do they need from our products and getting that information back to our development team who develop these products. So um, me and my team work with customers across the globe, uh, get in information with regards to, uh, they could be financial uh, institutions, they could be um, you know, merchants, anybody. We talk to them, we find out what they need, uh, be able to articulate and put it in terms of how our product functions and then be able to enhance our product to meet their requirement. Uh, Ma'am, in all of this, how did NMAMIT help you reach the high position that you are at? Um, yeah, I think uh, as for everybody, right, uh, it, it all depends on where you start, uh, you know, your education is very important. And um, NMAMIT, I think, gave us a platform uh, to learn different things 
uh, as part of our curriculum uh, at where we were. And it was not, um, not only curriculum, I think the extracurricular activities that we were involved in also helped us in this journey uh, to build us, um, you know, to build our personality as a whole. It was not only focused on um, your studies or your curriculum. It was also the extracurricular activities um, that was made available for us at uh, NMMIT. Uh, did build us as a whole, as a person, uh, which helped us, you know, go out to the world and present ourselves and uh, be successful. Lastly, I would like to ask ma'am, what would be your message to electrical and electronics students? Um, my message, okay, so I think um, as I was talking to somebody today, uh, main thing, yes, uh, I think today um, as part of uh, when we came in for our placement also, people look at compensation as an important piece. I, I'm, uh, I agree it is important, but I think we all need to make sure uh, at this young age, uh, you are all focused on what work you do, uh, what, um, you know, how, how happy you are doing that work. That is more important uh, or equally important to how much of the compensation you get. So focus on, uh, you know, what you, what you like doing, focus on your curriculum, uh, pick subjects that you like to do, focus on that, uh, put in your 110%, I repeat that again, because I think that's what uh, drives everything uh, that we do today. And um, I'm sure success will be right with you at any time. Okay, thank you so much ma'am for your advice. We are honored to conduct this interview. Thank you. Thanks everybody and all the very best.